This week it's a gender bended carry flick that was also a video nasty in the UK, it's Evil Speak, which is a 1981 American horror film directed by Eric Weston. A satanic black mass of a film that slowly builds to a gloriously blood filled crazy ending that somehow wound its way onto the video nasty list which is probably the best place to start this review. For anyone who doesn't know, the Video Nasties were a list of 72 films that the Director of Public Prosecutions in the UK believed violated the Obscene Publications Act of 1959. They'd initially been allowed to be released uncensored due to a quirk in the law that allowed films not intended for public screening in cinemas to go straight to video without BBFC classification. Had they had to go in front of the BBFC, they would almost certainly have been refused classification and then for all intents and purposes banned in the UK. This is what happened to Silent Night, Deadly Night, a movie I've already covered on this channel. This of course created a somewhat strange situation where movies were being released technically legally, but were still very open to the subjective whims of police constables around the country's reading of the Obscenities Act, which stated that publications were against the law if they tend to deprave and corrupt persons who are likely, having regard to all relevant circumstances, to read, see or hear the matter contained or embodied in it. This led to a ridiculous situation where video stores were regularly raided and such films as Dolly Parton's The Best Little Whorehouse in Texas was seized in Greater Manchester as the devout Christian Chief Constable thought it was a porn film. No guesses for who whipped up public backlash against these video nasties. Yep, the Daily Mail and Christian conservatives such as Mary Whitehouse, an exceptionally unholy duo if I ever saw one. This backlash eventually led to the Video Recordings Act of 1984 placing responsibility for classifying both home video and cinematic releases with the BBFC. So it is in this backdrop that Evil Speak found itself on the Video Nasty list in the UK in 1983 eventually being released in 1987 with 3 minutes and 34 seconds being cut from its runtime. Sometime around the 2000s, the BBFC seems to have quietly and largely unofficially realised that this was all rather stupid and that these films are pretty much harmless and relaxed its rules around violence in films, leading to Evil Speak being released uncut in 2004 in the UK. Which brings me to now and me watching this for the first time and I guess the gore and violence is the best place to start. I can't believe anyone honestly believed that this film should be banned for its graphic portrayal of violence or its portrayal of Satanism. Take the opening scene for instance, yeah we have a satanic sacrifice where a beautiful naked woman is decapitated but that is so obviously a mannequin being decapitated, nobody in their right minds would actually believe a woman was sacrificed for Satan. That is pretty much how all the gore goes in this film. It's high on the high fructose corn syrup dyed red and low on the believability stakes. Hell, in this shot you can even see the wires allowing Clint Howard to levitate. Top of the line special effects, these are not. Maybe in the 80s, the lower resolution pictures on CRT TVs and cheap VHS tapes hit a lot of this, but in 2022 on a 4K TV and Blu-ray, they are very noticeable. As for the Satanism, well, a lot of it is delivered via this Apple II, which is probably the least believable part of this entire script to be honest. Could an Apple II accurately translate Latin into perfect English? Oh well, pretty much any of what happens. Uh, Google can't even do manage that now. It also seems to run on the logic of anyone who comes anywhere close to anything satanic is instantly under its thrall, and let's be honest, you'd have to be pretty crazy to believe that too. Although that being said, I've never understood the appeal of Apple products and a satanic pact to bring the susceptible under their thrall makes absolute sense because their products are overpriced crap. Moving on to the plot, which can essentially be broken down into two separate parts, slow atmospheric build up over the first 60 minutes and madcap climax for the last 30 or so of the 89 minute runtime. 
the first 60 minutes are really slow. But like I said in my review of Retribution a few weeks ago, I don't mind that if it feels like it is building up to something. Evil Speak felt like it was for me. There's a seeming ratcheting up of tension and creepy atmosphere, which is really helped by Clint Howard's turn as Stanley Coopersmith, a nerdy often picked on loser at a military academy, who finds a book of Satan hidden within the walls of the school's chapel. That they happen to build on top of land once owned by the Satan worshipping monks from the film's opening. He's really perfectly cast in the role, and the supporting cast are also really good in this respect, with R.G. Armstrong, the legendary character actor from Westerns, giving an over the top nice guy turns nasty performance. We even get Don Stark, Bob from that 70s show, as one of the bullies. Weirdly, I instantly recognised him too. We get a lot of Cooper Smith attempting and failing to enact the Black Mask to enact revenge on his bullies, but like I said before, this is essentially a gender bended carry. I think some people could find this first hour a bit boring. Personally, I think it effectively ratchets up the tension and atmosphere until we get to the madcap ending. And oh boy, is it madcap! Involving a naked woman and pigs, explosions and pigs, fire and pigs, head explosions and pigs, more decapitations and pigs, pigs exploding through doors and pigs. Did I mention pigs feature heavily in this climax? And I think they genuinely just burnt a church to the ground too, because that's not CGI fire. Even though as I said prior, the special effects on show here aren't brilliant, the ending is worth the wait, and those last 30 minutes or so really did skip by as they are hella entertaining. Which is kind of what you watch these straight to videos 80s horrors for, let's be honest. So that was Evil Speak, a movie that got itself banned in my home country for reasons that I'll probably never really understand. As a slow but in my opinion atmospheric and entertaining first hour before the pigs are let loose and literally, not figuratively, Hell is 2, in a really entertaining climax. If you enjoyed that, then don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to the channel because I will return next week with Burial Grounds.